guys, it's weekend vlog number 46. And yet again, we are going to our training class. It is our fourth class, I believe. I don't know what we're supposed to be learning today, but I got my clicker and I'm ready to go. And Luna, <gasps> Luna did something terrible. Yes, I just gasped in a conversation with myself, basically. <gasps> we still didn't tell you. <laughs> she destroyed her duck. You know how she's like constantly having party time with her duck? It's like her favorite thing, best friend, best friend of me in her life, other than me. Well, she finally chewed the beak to the point where it's open and the stuffing is starting to come out. And I lamented about this on Snapchat quite a bit because she like would not stop crying and looking for it because I put it up on the table because I don't want her to eat the stuffing. And I, I don't know, I was just like, all right, I think the duck is dead. <laughs> Party time is over. And she would just look at the coffee table where I put it and just like cry and cry and cry. It was so cute and so sad. Um, so I think I'm gonna find her a new duck. I don't know if it's specific to the duck shape, if we can replace party duck. A lot of people were telling me on Twitter that I just need to um, stitch it up. Guys, why do you think I have like a needle and thread? Anyway, rambling, going to training, high hopes, we've been practicing. Luna. Luna. You're okay. So we just got back from training and Luna had a really, really good class. Mainly because no one else showed up to the class and so it was kind of like a private lesson. It went so good. She got down a couple of things that she'd been struggling with and I kind of gave up on, not gonna lie, like down. And she got really good at leave it, which is a really good skill that she definitely needed. And every time I go for a class, I end up shopping. Um, I got her two new squeaky toys to see if she likes them. I got a uh, Care Bear, very cute, let's see. What do you think? You like her? I think she likes it. Oh, I think it's a hit. I also got this one that's really, really cute. Look at this one. She's like, huh? It might be making all of your dogs crazy that might be watching with you. A lot of you guys have snapped me and tweeted me and commented and all that about uh, how your dogs go crazy whenever Luna's having a duck party or something in one of my videos and let me tell you she goes crazy whenever I'm editing the videos too like it was hilarious it was the first time I saw her look really really confused um it was squeaking in the video uh when I was editing and it was right next to her and she kept looking at it like calm down why is this squeaking I'm not even touching it it was really hilarious um she actually met a couple of kids at PetSmart today. It was like everyone wants to like stop and pet your dog and stuff like that. Um, but I've had an experience, well, probably like on three different occasions where there were kids that were like kind of like giving Luna funny looks. And one kid, like a little boy, um, but he wasn't that little. He looked at her and he was like, oh, oh my God, what's wrong with it? And I was like, I was like so annoyed by that kid. Ew, your child is gross and horrible. Let's just be real. I mean, I know kids are like that, uh, but kids sometimes have like a really adverse reaction to Luna. I guess just, I mean, just cause she has three legs and they're not used to seeing that. Today we met several kids. They were really, really sweet and had a lot of questions about her and wanted to pet her and stuff like that. So my faith in children was renewed. Maybe, uh, maybe not go that far. Anyway, this is coming over and we're going to Taco Landia. So I need to change. So this is old party duck. It's really filthy and gross. And believe it or not, I've already cleaned this one. Like I put it in the washing machine and Thomas just saved the day and surprised Luna with a new fresh duck. And this is before Luna and after Luna. Luna the destroyer of all ducks. She's super happy. <laughs> I just hit her in the face with it. <laughs> I'm sorry. What's your favorite song? Go ahead. No, it's okay. <laughs> Currently we are going to Taco Landia. Don't really know exactly what it's gonna be. I think it's gonna be about tacos though. 
just I guess. Yeah, I'm feeling a lot better. I'm a lot less tired. I don't know if I even told you I was tired. By the way, I was tired. Big update. I guess that's it. Have a good day. <laughs> This guy looks like so much cooler than my camera. That never happens. Hey guys, it is a Sunday morning. Actually, it's not super early in the morning because like we woke up early and then we went back to sleep because I don't know. My hair is crazy. I have my pizza pajamas on. So I want to finish editing this makeup tutorial. I got some new like editing stuff for my uh, Final Cut Pro and I've been trying to use it, but it's kind of difficult to learn and it takes me way longer and I really wanted to get this video out today but I'm not sure if I'm going to. It's a makeup tutorial. It's my casual everyday mermaid look which I have been like hyping up and uh, hopefully you guys are into that. I'm a proud owner of not one but two actually. One of them belongs to Thomas but it's a back scratcher. It came in one of the drinks last night. After we went to Taco Landia, we went to a bar that I really like and um, it's the kind of place where you get back scratchers in your drinks. <laughs> but I had a good time and Lana's having a good time. Front of me's for life. So Sunday is usually like my filming day, but I really want to edit. So I don't know if I'm going to have time to film. And next week is going to be crazy because we have this event that we're doing. And that's going to be three nights next week. And so I'm like worried about getting my videos put out because it's like... I work on my videos outside of work and just like cuts down my time. So I don't know how it's gonna happen, but I did put out three videos last week and I was really, really proud of myself because that's kind of like my goal. I wish I could always do that, but it's pretty tough. I have to be like editing every waking moment of my life outside of work, which is tricky. So I'm gonna drink some coffee and start editing. And Luna is like chilling super naked because I was working on my tutorial all day long. It's dark outside already and I just took a shower because my hair is gross and I think I'm gonna go out to dinner. Um, but I had to take Luna's collar off because I was recording a voiceover and she kept like running around and playing and stuff and it was too loud. Um, I'm gonna show you this though. Um, I know that this video will come out after the tutorial clearly because the tutorial just went up. I'm not thinking clearly. Um, I need to at least give you a preview. At least you skipped it because I like poured my heart and soul into this. It was so hard for me to add it. I tried a bunch of new things and I'm like really proud of it. Is that so lame? It's party time. Okay, you're just gonna watch the beginning, just a little intro and we'll be done. And I did all these little text effects and I don't know why, but I'm like probably overly proud of myself. Um, I need to find some water. I don't know, I might be going to see a band. I don't know. And um, going to get something to eat. I haven't been out of the house all day long. You know what? I think next weekend, I think I will include maybe a little bit about the event that we're doing this week. Tune in next weekend vlog to see Possibly something interesting. I need to do my makeup. All right, quick change, quick makeup. I think it turned out pretty good. And I'm taking Moon out before I go. Um, I don't even know what it feels like outside. I need to go outside. I don't know if I need a jacket. I hate jackets, but that's a big moment. It's actually like jacket weather in Texas, finally. Okay, so I just went outside and I don't think I even need a long sleeve shirt. False alarm on the jacket weather. It feels like a million o'clock right now and it's only like 7.30. I hate the time change. Um, I think people are really liking my video, which makes me so happy. 
all of that work it's just like completely worth it once I get to read comments and stuff like that it seems like people really appreciate it and notice that I did something different so that makes me super happy <coughs> gotta go okay so I've actually been home for a while and um, I almost completely forgot to finish up this vlog. I kind of just completely forgot about it. Um, I went out to dinner and just kind of, yeah, it was just kind of like a what a, whatever, whatever, whatever. And I didn't vlog anything because it was not like, you know, something to vlog because I didn't go see that band or whatever. And then I came home and I was chilling with Luna who is still super naked don't look at my foot and i was watching snapchat because i am like pretty much I, I don't know it's like become you know part of my day like as i was using it for the longest time it was like more of like a passive thing like i would every once in a while like check out people's stories and stuff like that because i just didn't care but it's almost like i watch it like youtube now like i am like there's certain people where i'm just like no i'm always gonna check on you you know what i mean Anyway, I hope you guys had an awesome weekend and I hope you have a great week and uh, definitely subscribe to my channel if you want to keep up with all my new vlogs. What do you think I could do to make this channel better? I am ready for your suggestions and your requests and stuff like that. I don't know why I didn't even like think ahead about asking that question. It just came to me in the moment. I'm open. Uh, I want to make this channel fun and cool. And, uh, I love you guys. I feel like you guys actually care about me because you like watch my boring life. And that means a lot to me. Um, by the way, if you liked this uh, boring life, we can vlog a thumbs up if you liked it. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you next time. Thanks. I love you. Bye. Rob's dad told me it's probably like at least 500 bucks an hour.